happy holidays. Now, this is this is how you cut greens. You roll them up, okay? Take the rubber band off. You roll them up, and you slice them. And then you slice them this way, also. Look how beautiful they are. And then you want to put them into a strainer to, to rinse them. Because sometimes they have little grains of dirt. These look pretty clean, but it doesn't matter because they were in the grocery store and wrapped. And, hey, people walk past, they sneeze, they cough, they talk. And, you know, um, you want to rinse them. You want to make sure you rinse them real good. You want to rinse every leaf in there. You want to take your time to make sure there's no dirt grains of little sand of any kind. That's what you want to do. Okay. So ahead of time, I made, I'm going to mix this with collard greens that I'm mixing with kale. With kale greens. As you can see, some of them um, I just colored some of the leaves. Um, those I will take off because they won't taste good. They will taste a little bitter, like in a different kind of bitterness that I don't want. Um, kind of like rotten. Yes, rotten. Grains rot. As you can see, they look pretty clean. But it doesn't matter. They still need to be washed off. See that? You want to take that off. You don't want to eat that. It doesn't taste good. I'm going to take all that off. Now, kale greens only take about 20 minutes to cook. Um, if you want the vitamins that it makes to um, actually give you new blood. It um, revives your blood. Um, these are kind of... Wow. It's the best I could get at that at the last minute, I guess, is what happens. But even if you get them ahead of time, you can't keep them forever in the um, fridge. Greens are just one of those things you can't, you can't keep them long. Anything fresh is, needs to be done kind of quick. Everything fresh. But um, on the most part, I'm going to rinse them off. I'm going to keep rinsing them off. Rinse them real good. Make sure there's no kind of dirt of any kind. Now, if you want to chop them smaller, you can. I like mine this way. I don't like them really itty bitty chopped up real small to the point of, you know, when it cooks and it turns into something like spinach. If I want to eat spinach, I'll make spinach. <laughs> I like some big pieces too with my cornbread, but of course I'm eating stuffing. So in this pot, I have uh, turkey thigh because I made a whole turkey this morning, last night at midnight. Um, so I cut the turkey breast off. It's done. Uh, it was 90% done. So I took, put the turkey breast in here with a little salt and cayenne pepper. Okay, there is a turkey neck in there also. Now you can see that this juice is not... This broth is not clear because what's happening is that the turkey is making broth. You can see a little oil coming out of it. Okay, it's making its own broth. It's a little skin that makes broth. Okay, so this has been boiling for an, over an hour. So right now I'm going to put a half an onion in there. Not too much. And I'm going to finish cleaning off these grains. And I'm going to finish chopping these up. Again, you roll it up. You roll it. You roll them up. And then you slice them both ways. All right. And um, so let me get to chopping and washing these greens and put them in this pot. 